what's going on again YouTube um, coming back with a little um, update video on the old 78 Ford um, I've had a lot of people asking me uh, what's the progress on the old truck uh, what else have I done have I done anything cool you know take it for a ride or anything like that um, so a lot of people's been asking me what's going on with the truck how about an update video something like that so this is technically going to be an update video so what's been going on with the truck nothing uh, what I need to work on with the old truck is believe it or not I don't know if anybody watching this right now has seen the previous video but I actually uh, me and a buddy of mine put all new brakes on the front of this thing we put rotors uh, pads the calipers the brake hoses uh, and both inner and outer uh, wheel bearing uh, on both sides um, of course and then later on came the brake booster and the master cylinder um, well the only thing in the front end that I did not change was the proportioning valve and what do you think happened when I took the truck out for a drive now it went a couple of times real good with uh, not really any issue and then I guess hitting the brakes one too many times next thing you know both calipers are com almost completely seized up and uh, you know nice and even of course and uh, they the calipers would not release whatsoever and I was brake torquing this thing all the way through town to get it back here to the garage which completely smoked those rotors and if you know I mean these these are not performance rotors these are basically like OEM replacements but way crappier of course because nowadays just brake rotors factory replacement brake rotors ain't worth a hoot so you know uh, I'm sure the uh, the rotors are probably in quite rough shape um, well you can kind of see that it looks like that one may have got something in it or something like that or whatever and um, I'm sure they are probably quite warped and you can see it still has the swirls in it you know because these I mean these brake rotors they probably don't have 10 miles on them so, I mean I didn't even get to put any miles on it at all before that happened and of course they were almost cherry red yeah you can kind of see how they look on this side once I got back here to the garage so what I'm gonna do is uh, of course I'm gonna swap these rotors back out unfortunately I am out of warranty time so I have to buy rotors again but the uh, brake pads uh, I will be able to swap out and um, you know exchange those because I'm sure they're probably quite glazed over um, you know the calipers and everything seem to be working perfectly fine because I mean I can back it in and out of the out of the uh, garage I can even take it over to the gas station whatever and they seem to work perfectly fine it's just that I get out on the road get to hitting the brakes a few times and then BAM you know it's like it wants to they want to like not release again so being the only thing that I did not replace they also uh, recommended to me to not get a OEM style proportioning valve for one because they don't make them obviously and two a, it would be just as crappy as what's on there so what they did recommend me to get was this nice fancy aftermarket brass one now apparently this nice little contraption right here is quite popular to use on these old trucks and um, works a whole lot better and of course this is obviously brand new so shouldn't have any issues with it and if I am not mistaken uh, when you get the Wildwood um, set up like uh, let's see like the brake master cylinder and uh, things like that like those setups for these trucks Apparently, you can um, get uh, their proportioning valve as well, and it's similar to that one right there. Now, that one there is like a $50 or $60 job off of uh, offline, 
and so it's not as much as a wild wood but it's basically made the same it's brass it's aftermarket brand new it should work fine so what I'm going to do is like I said I'm going to uh, pop those calipers off get those rotors out of there and um, pretty much just throw them in my trunk those and the brake pads and uh, try to get them swapped out in case uh, anybody watching this is a kind of a rookie like me and uh, not real sure how to take these calipers off um, I've already got it the majority of the way off the pin but there's a bolt right here you gotta take that bolt out and it basically fits in that little slot right there um, let's see not sure if this is going to uh, okay maybe that's a little bit better so I'm not shadowing the camera and you pretty much just knock that pin out um, if you can get at it from that well I don't I'm not sure I can't remember if it'll push out both ways or not but that seems to be the way it's pushing out for me but you just simply get in there and tap it out now let me get in here oh god oh yeah and you can see it's just this is how it goes and of course it you know this this compresses kind of like a leaf spring to be honest with you I know I don't know if that's a cheesy way to describe that but uh, and what it does is it basically wedges this up it pushes it up against the uh, the bracket and everything and holds it in there of course and then when you put the bolt in there obviously it's not going anywhere so just in case uh, somebody else is a, a rookie like me and has never done this before so uh, and what you do is you can pretty much get in there and kind of pry it out of course you know you're prying this apart you're, you're going to be prying against the old rotor anyways if you're replacing the rotor or you know whatever in there so it doesn't really matter if you scar it up or nothing of course in this case it doesn't matter that I'm scarring it up it's because it's getting replaced anyways and you just simply can get in there in any way that you can and just kind of pry it up out there let's see uh, maybe I'll get up in here I guess with an old rusty trusty screwdriver that you can never go wrong with you know everybody's got that one that they've had their whole life yep this is that one for me now there may be a better way to do this and I'm sure like all the other videos I've put out with this truck I will be criticized quite a bit for doing it this way but hey this is the way I look at it correct me if I'm wrong or if I'm being too straightforward but if you're that much better at it hit me up I'll give you my address you can do it for me because <laughs> I don't have a lot of time <laughs> but that's pretty much it um, of course I'm not sure if these are the legit uh, I don't understand why this is basically a plastic piston in this caliper I'm pretty sure in 1978 they didn't have plastic pistons but I could be wrong all right so not sure if you can see that uh, might be able to see it a little bit kind of a glare uh, you know yes brake pads will get smooth looking and everything like that but these look to be like they're uh, a little on the glazed side so of course I'm going to replace the brake pads as well because there's no point in uh, you know replacing oh well yeah it's mm -hmm. <laughs> phone is like going ape snot up there so yeah that that's pretty much it on these uh, on the calipers they're real easy to take off and um, you know all I'm going to do is just uh, have it hang there because I mean it's just going to hang here like that for a couple of days. Of course the next thing you got to do is kind of get the rotor off of there and there is a nut basically an axle nut and behind there yep there goes a fire truck so the easiest way to do this this thing's already beat to pieces anyways and rusty and looks like crap but it's a lot more stout than you think, so you can tap on a little bit. And really, the only, what I do is I just kind of tap around it like that. And just come.
comes right out of there. Of course, there's all, you know, we packed the grease pretty good that day. And we just kind of bend the carter pin. Which, if you're doing this particular job, and you happen to have yourself a pack of brand new carter pins, you know, they come in, uh, you know, all sorts of sizes, a uh, variety pack. That's always good to, uh, you know, replace all these. Replace carter pins and everything when you do these jobs. Uh, me, personally, you know, see it's all bent up and everything. Well, you know, once you bend these things, they do weaken a little bit. I mean, it's just it's metal like anything else and uh, I will actually replace those I forgot you know this is not really doesn't have to be that tight I can't remember what the actual torque is on it but the bearings actually are probably perfectly fine that's like I said I mean they got less than 10 miles on them so I think I'm going to keep the bearings instead of swapping those out but here's something interesting as I spun that and had the camera off. Check this out. Yeah. I believe that goes right. Oh, yeah, look at that. It goes right there. Now, what kind of crap is that? I don't know. Man, you can't be having all that, but then again, it did get pretty hot. So, so we'll take. this nut off of here and it's kind of crazy how the uh, the bearings on the front of these two wheel drive the outer bearings are so tiny like it's freaking amazing that. Woo! <laughs> and uh, the router comes right off <laughs> all right yeah. <laughs> Look how tiny the, the outer bearings are. My bottom bracket bearings for my uh, BMX bikes are bigger than this. It's weird. <laughs> it's totally crazy. Probably not as strong, of course, but bigger. Alright, well. That's pretty much... Yep. See, it's a good thing I had to take this apart. Look at there. There's no seal. What happened to the seal? Oh, man. Okay. All right, well, pretty much done with this side. And, uh... And what I went ahead and done is, uh, you know, you got grease on the shaft, on the bearing or whatever, so a rag will stick to it really well. So I literally just kind of covered the bearing in the rag because I'm going to replace this uh, you know some of the grease I'm gonna clean it off there and uh, probably actually take the bearing off re-clean it clean this the the, uh, the spindle and re-grease everything so but this keeps a little more dirt and everything out of it until I get back in here and of course the outer bearing and uh, the uh, the nut the washer and whatever that little thing is that goes over the nut is all in there so we just kind of keep it all keep it all together and the carter pin which I'm going to replace anyways but just to remind me that it takes a carter pin so I will say that is probably going to be it of this video because it's going to be a few days before I'm able to get back in here into the shop to um, put the new rotors and brake pads back on what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna tackle the other side and get that tore apart there's no point in you guys sticking around watching me do that it's the same as the, uh, the right hand side so uh, I want to thank everybody for watching this video and stay tuned for I guess another update video we will put the new rotors and pads back on we'll see you guys in uh, the next update video